Hello everyone, I'm Shruti and uh, I study in Jubilee Hills Public School. Today we'll be exploring code.org. Uh, so our project is Slider Sketch and uh, Slider Sketch helps us to draw with two sliders. One slider which helps us to move the pen left and right and one which helps us to move the pen up and down. So let's get started. First of all, we'll rename the project to Slider Sketch by Shruti. You can type your name over there and we have to save it. Okay, it's saved. So, uh, we'll be using code mode and design mode today. So, um, first uh, we'll be using design mode. Yes. So uh, we already know that we need two sliders, uh, which are the uh, which do the main purpose here because they help us to move the pen up and down and left and right. So we'll take uh, the first slider first, and uh, we'll change the ID to X slider. So width, I think I will put it to two seventy five, and the height to. 45 okay and the x position and y position to 20 and 5 okay so we need to change the values as well uh, for x slider the value will be uh, 160 the minimum value will be 0 the maximum value over here will be 320 so in the same way, we'll be doing uh, for the Y slider as well. We'll change the ID with height, X position, Y position, value, minimum value and maximum value. So you can do it yourself. You can move it on the screen here. But I um, decided to give the numbers in the properties uh, place. Now let's take another um, slider. Right. Another slider and name it to y slider the id the width we'll uh, give it as the same width that we gave for uh, the x slider the x position i'm taking 20 y position i'm taking 390 okay the value will again change over here as well the value we'll take as 240 Minimum value 30, maximum value 3. Okay, okay. so um, now we'll be needing four labels. So uh, when we are uh, running or uh, maybe when we are uh, playing with the application, anyone, they have to know which slider will move uh, the pen up and down and which one will move left and right. So for that, we'll be going to, uh, we'll be labeling. So for that, uh, let's start labeling. We'll be needing four labels. Yes, four labels, which will be placed below the slider. place it below the slider um, in the same way for um, the uh, other slider as well you can change the placement I'm also changing the placement because I think it can be more below the slider right. okay so I'm done placing them so uh, now we'll uh, start labeling them I mean changing the text over there this I think we'll keep it as up this as down this as left and this as right 
okay so as it is not visible let me bring it here i'll just uh, change it all right okay got it so place it back again okay i'm done now we've labeled you've chosen the sliders if you want to de design it even further you can even change the theme uh, where we have many different themes classic default orange citrus ketchup and mustard lemonade um glow in the dark bubble gum many more okay so i think i'll go with robot see the uh, the background color and uh, the way in which the others look like changed the labels color the background color also changed so yeah that is how the theme works like so you can even change the background color yourself um, without choosing the theme uh well now um we'll be uh needing two drop downs so uh first of all for the pen size so uh, if you want to change the pen size now um for that we'll be needing one drop down like uh, a, a few numbers just like a font size basically so that you see in uh, word documents and anything like that and in the same way another drop down for changing the um color of the um drawing or uh, the pen a uh, pen color will also change so we can do that with drop downs there will be many different options over there red green blue etc so we'll be using those as well so first i'll keep a drop down over here and another here so i want to okay so to mention that this drop down is for color size i mean font size or color size and this is for um the color pen color we need to um, label them just like we did for the uh, sliders so i'll be labeling them i'll just put a label here freeze the um width and height and place it near the drop down i'll take the duplicate of it and uh, do just the same for the other drop down so uh, for the first one i'll uh, label it as uh, uh the text as color i mean pen color okay so i think i will not take it to left and take it to the text alignment to center okay okay and now in the same way let's do for the uh, other label also and name it to pen size okay so now uh, comes to the uh, coming to the drop down the uh, drop down will be um, we need the drop down id or not for that we'll be needing uh for um this is for the pen color so i'm not going to choose anything but i need for the pen size so for that the id is going to be pen size okay so um yeah done now uh coming to the options we need to give a few options for pen color options i'm going to give a few uh, pen color let's give red blue then um i think green and then yellow orange and you can give many more i only gave these many and for pen size you can choose any uh, random numbers but i'm going to choose 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फ्रॉम यू आर कंट्रोल वील बी ड्रैगन वील ड्रैगन ड्रॉप ऑन इवेंट चेंज द आई डी टू यस एक्स लाइट ऑफ दिस टू इनपुट ना फ्रॉम टर्टल वील टेक मूव टू दैन फ्रॉम यू आर कंट्रोल ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप कैट नम कैट नंबर चेंज द आई डी टू एक्स लाइडर ना फ्रॉम टर्टल वी विल गेट फ्लिक ऑन कैट वाई सो नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो एनी फंक्शन और यू डोट नो वाई मूव टू इज यूज और एनी एनी अदर Yeah, if you do want to know why get x is used or why get y is used, what are their functions, then you can here as you can see, see examples. Click on it, and you can see the functions and many more examples. So uh, now we are done. Move to get number x slider, and we drag and drop get y. Now uh, we'll from turtles we'll take pen. color in place of uh, red and these options coming up we will go to ui controls click on get text now we we'll change the id to drop down to yes okay so now we are done with the uh, coding part for x slider right now we have to take and again on event we change the id to because it's for y slider we change it to y slider and this to input just like we did for x slider now we'll go to turtle click on move to then over here we'll keep get x and here we'll go to ui controls and take get number from it the id as y slider yes now we'll go to turtle again then take pen color pen color just like we did for x slider pen color now in place of red just like i told you for x slider we'll uh, go to your controls keep get text Let's get text. Yeah, over here. Get text. And change the ID to drop down to. Yes, done. So now we are done with the code part for Y slider as well. So now uh, if we run, uh, we we didn't uh, change the pen size, but we know that we can uh, change the pen color. So let's check whether it is working or not. So all all right. Okay. So okay, this is red. Now I'll take it to blue. Um, okay, it's changing green. Yes, it is because of the theme. It's not so visible, but if we keep it to default, maybe it might work. So the now let's change yellow. Let's check whether all the colors are working. Yes, yellow is working. Let's check with orange. Okay, not there, not there. Yes, orange is working. Okay, so now let's reset it. And now, 
let's work uh, work the coding part for the pen size so for for pen size now again we'll go to your controls and get on event now we'll change the id to um pen size yes so uh, then uh, we will take this as input um, now uh, we will I think we, let's take it as drop down 2 I mean drop down 1 because uh, yes we didn't uh, did didn't take uh, the um, id for the drop down so it will stay as it is not pen size because the pen, pen size is the label for um, i mean the id for the pen size label right yeah so now uh, again now we will be needing from turtle we'll take pen width just like we took pen color we'll be taking pen width for the size to change the size so we'll go pen width now we'll be needing get number from ui controls get number in place of three and all that which is coming and change the id to drop down one because drop down one uh, has a list of numbers if uh, on uh, which on clicking uh, will change the pen size so now we are done with the code part and let's check whether the uh, where whether the app is working okay so that is okay pen color we know that it's working let's check whether yes now let's check with 12 okay decreasing now i think okay so i'll change it to 60 let's try <laughs> okay so the pen size is working out good um, so that means that our code part is working and our design part is good so yes so that was all thank you